Mel gives hope to all the women's hairdressers in the world. <laughs> you too can come out on the World Poker Tour. If this man can do it, anyone can. Make no mistake about it. Very few in the world are more experienced at tournament poker than Mel Judah. Going to fold a four deuce of hearts. And now it's going to be on TJ. 75. Here comes TJ coming in for 75,000. Picked up two jacks. Yes, he did. A big hand for TJ. Paul Phillips also has a very good hand. He's got a real hand. Pair of sevens here. He sure does. That's a big hand against the other blind. I'm all in. I call. He goes all in with it, and TJ quickly calls. Yes, he does. They're going to go at it. Look at how sick Paul looks now. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, you know your way up against it. He has way the worst hand. TJ's got the jacks. Paul's got the two sevens. This could cripple Paul if he should lose this. A long shot here. We're going to see a flop. Here it comes. Flop is deuce, ace, five. Flop comes ace, five, deuce. Not going to do it on the flop. He needs a miracle card. A seven. Oh, my God. Look at TJ Cloutier. Lightning in the bottle right there for Paul Phillips. Tremendous. He just hit his set. What a horrible card for oh TJ. Oh, my golly. If a jack doesn't come off, TJ's gone. He doesn't get it. That's going to do it. TJ's eliminated. TJ Cloutier took a severe beat right there. That is brutal. TJ Cloutier. Yeah, I'm out. Is going to be eliminated. <sighs> Sorry, TJ. There's nothing new, baby. A horrendous beat. Paul had a few more chips than he did, so TJ's gone. He gets up, he shakes his hand. What a blow for TJ Cloutier right there. And look at this, he's getting a standing ovation from the LA crowd. Linda Johnson gives him a hug. The crowd gives him a standing ovation. You can't do any better than get your money in with a hand like that. He's gonna take home 146,000, but right now that's no consolation prize to him. TJ, I don't mind if you pick up a chair and just throw it. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, an amazing performance here today. TJ Cloutier out in third place, takes home 146,000. This great poker legend walking away, and he's going to go up for an interview with Shauna. TJ, that one must have been hard to take. They're all tough to take, but uh, that's all you can do. Get in with the best and hope. That's poker. My favorite, I'm getting tired of saying it, but that's poker. <laughs> Well, Vince, they're about to bring in the cash. If you remember last year, they brought it in on a motorcycle. This year, they're bringing it in on a unicycle. Here he comes. Oh! Well, we had the Unabomber at the final table, and we've got the unicycle bringing in the cash, Vince. Here it comes. Oh! There comes Lou Diamond Phillips. Hey, he's delivered it to Lou Diamond Phillips. But we're not done yet. Here comes Shauna Hyatt. Hey! Oh, yeah. And look at the money out here. Our own Shauna Hyatt is bringing in the real cash. What a beautiful trophy. Oh, man. A beautiful pile of cash. These two great warriors, after three days, are going after the $579,000 first prize here at the Bicycle Club. So that's what a million and a half dollars looks like. We're talking about heads up play. We got the hairdresser from Australia against Dotcom from San Francisco. Going at it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on the World Poker Tour. On the World Poker Tour, we are heads up for the money. Will the rich get richer, or will the mailman deliver a win? Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are in Los Angeles, California, watching two heavyweights go at it, heads up, here at the Bicycle Casino. Well, Vince, here we go. This is what it's all about. As a poker player, you dream about being in this situation, an opportunity to play for a WPT title. Well, heads up play, Mike. One of them's going to take home $579,000 and the title. I think you meant come on, Paul. Here we go with the first hand heads up play. Action is going to be on Paul Phillips. And he's picked up a pair of trays on the first hand. Pretty good. Really? He just calls. Blinds are 15 and 30,000. He calls. Mel says, OK, let's go. Mel has a 9-8. We're going to see a flop. Didn't raise it. Very interesting. Here it comes. Flop is king, 10 deuce. Flop is king, 10 deuce. It's on Mel first. He checks. And Paul Phillips now with a pair of threes. Also going to check. 
Turn brings another 10. Turn pairs 10s. Now there's three clubs on the board and a pair of 10s out there. Mel's going to check again. Mel checks. Will Paul bite this time with his threes? Well, Paul's got to think the threes are the best hand right now. You got to think so. And he bets 30,000, and Mel calls. Yes, he does. Now, Mel has the nine of clubs and, and a flush draw. And the seven of clubs gives him a flush. Nothing to be too proud, though, just the nine of club flush. It's true, and he checks. Now, the bad news for Paul is he has no club. It's a very scary card for Paul. I check. Paul checks. Why don't you go ahead and hit it? Mel shows the nine of clubs. He shows the nine of clubs. Turn. Paul nods, gives him the pot. First pot, and Mel's going to get very lucky just to be sticking around and happen to hit that lukewarm flush. Mel gets the button. Well, you just wonder, had Paul made a larger bet than 30000 on 4th Street, would he have won that pot? Battle of wits going here, heads up, going for the Legends of Poker Championship. A huge amount of psychology goes into a heads-up game. It's not as much as what you have as what you think your opponent has. There's Paul Phillips now with a jack three of clubs. Kenny Zickenzack back into this match of this heads-up competition. And this time he's going to raise it, Mike. Yeah, he's going to make it 90,000 to go. Remember, the blinds are 15 and 30,000. Mel's picked up an ace of club, nine of hearts. Also a good hand. Well, it's a pretty big hand heads up. But your opponent is raised in front of you. He's out of position, as we say. What do you do here with an ace nine? He's going to raise it. Of course you are. 300,000. A big, bold bet right there by Mel Judah. Raising with an ace nine offsuit. Mel Judah has become Paul Phillips' absolute nightmare. Well, right now he's just getting some air time because there's no way he's going to call a $300,000 bet with a jack three. You can be sure of that. This guy has been through the washing machine, spinning around and around. It's really weird. He feels like he's on the high spin dryer right now. And he's going to throw this one away. He mucks it. Mel picks up the pot. You got my number. And the momentum just going to the hairdresser from Australia. This guy is taking control, playing awesome poker. Well, in fairness, he's holding the cards right now, too. You know, every time Paul tries to make a move, he comes over the top and picks up the pot. Believe me, it's not over yet. Paul has a lot of chips left. It's on him to act. Paul looks at his hand. He's got a jack deuce of hearts this time. 90. He's going to raise it again, Vince. 90,000. He just continues to force the action here. He's got a lot of heart. Mel Judah's got a nine and a seven. Well, that's a pretty big call by him as well, but things are going well for him, so he's going to see a flop. Yeah, he's so, going to play out that rush. Let's see if he can get lucky with it. Here we go. Flop is a six three. No help to Mel. Paul has flopped a flush draw. Yes, he has. Mel checked. Paul's got forced to flush. And Paul checked behind him. That surprises me, Vince, I got to tell you. So five? Five of diamonds on the turn. Gives both players an inside straight draw. Mel has the bigger straight draw, of course. But he's got to dodge the four hearts if it would come up. Look at Mel's going to check Mel again. Checks. And Paul checks. Hey, you got to figure he could take this pot at this point if he'd have bet it. Now and the four off. comes off. Oh, my goodness, this gives both players a straight. Mel's got the seven eye straight. He goes all in. What an incredible card. Both players have hit straights. This could be it if he calls it. Now, look at Paul Phillips here. He's got the sucker straight, as we say, the low end of the straight. His opponent has moved all in on him. Wow. <laughs> That's fun. I have a straight. He says, I have a straight. Now, I'll tell you. I don't think that's ethical. I don't think you're allowed to say things like that. But even hearing that, Mel says to himself, please call me now because you must have the sucker straight or you've already been in the pot. Well, this is unbelievable, Mike. Mel has got the big straight. How do you lay down a straight? It's easy to throw it away, Vince. You just pitch it in the muck. You haven't bet anything all through the hand. It's another $526,000 to him. That's a lot of chips he still has left in this tournament. I think this is an easy lay down for him to make. What could Mel have here? 
but the straight. He's not going to bet trips. He's not going to bet two pair. It could only be a stone bluff. That's virtually all Paul can beat right here. Well, if he could make this kind of lay down, this would be one of the great lay downs of all time. How do you lay this kind of hand down? Well, you do have to reflect back. Mel did bluff him earlier and showed it to him. Maybe that's playing on Paul's mind here. But I think it's an easy lay down. I mean, if you just know Mel at all, you know that the guy's fought from the low stack all day. He's taking the chip lead. He's not going to give all his money away on a bluff. It's not going to happen, Vince. If he's got a deuce, he's just going to get his money back. But this is very, very interesting. I can't believe you would dream of playing a seven that way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I only laid down the best hand he wants. Vince, is thinking and trying to justify how he can call this bet. He's got dot com talking to himself. Absolutely tortured here. The title at stake. If he makes his call, it will be over. I mean, remember, folks, all he can virtually beat is a bluff here, in my opinion. I think it's an easy lay down, but I know we're looking at the cards, but still. Boy, they'll second guess this decision for 10 years if I call here and I'm wrong. Well, well he's right about that. that much attention to my life, but if they did. You know, it's 526,000 vents. It's a tremendous amount of money. This is an incredible hand that we're witnessing here. What is Paul going to do here? I call. You got me. He calls. He's going to do it. It's going to be over. Oh, I can't yes. believe it. Mel bangs the table. He knows it's over. He wins the Mel pot. The, straight oh, with the, seven. Okay. the crowd okay. is stunned. Mel Judah is going to be the <laughs> Legends of Poker <laughs> champion. Well, I'm right with the crowd, Vance. I'm stunned also. I think it was an easy lay down. This shouldn't have happened, in my opinion. You know, all you can beat is a bluff in that spot. If your opponent bluffs there, good luck to him. Give him that one little raise. But play on. Paul Phillips, he can't believe it. I don't think he wants to get up from this table. You know, when you think wrong, you think wrong, Vince. Paul Phillips has proved that here today. Paul Phillips, a brilliant poker player. But right now, he wishes he could disappear. Well, what a Hollywood story for Mel Judah, Vince. He started on the low stack. He fought all day long on the low chips. He finally took the chip lead. He came back. He won this tournament. He came off the floor, and he is our champ. And now, let's go to our champion. And what can you say? The mill man has delivered. <laughs> to the mill man. Mel Judah, our champion of the Legend of Poker here at the Bicycle Casino. Bravo, Mel. He's closed himself up. <laughs> Look at Fred Bagnotti. Look at him just staring Paul down. There it is. Chip Jet has tripled up here almost. A seven. Oh, oh my what? golly. That is brutal. Look, he's showing the crowd the Jack Deuce. Paul Stone Bluff, ladies and gentlemen. Stone Bluff. Well done. And for Shauna Hyatt, Vince Van Patten, I'm Mike Sexton saying, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the World Poker Tour. Here we go, here we go, Mike. Here, try some of this. Bang, bang. Oh, put that in your pipe and smoke it. The real beauty of the World Poker Tour. You play until you go broke. All in. He says I'm all in. Well, you're right, well, you're right, Mike. Well, you're right, well, you're right, Mike. Whoa. He's all in. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Oh. Gone. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Bang. Gone. Well, you're right, Mike. That's got to spin. Absolutely. He's all in. All in. Yeah, he's got to love that. Got to love, got to love, got to love that. Well, he says you may have wrote the book and you may be the godfather, but here's some of this. Bang. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's got to love that. So too, it's going off in your head. Going off in your head. Got to love that. Whoa. We look forward to seeing you next season on the World Poker Tour. Oh.
Oh no, I wasn't ready. 